Isang magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ating pakinggan ang pagbibigay prioridad sa pagsasagawa ng lung transplant program mula sa pagtutulungan ng LCP at NKTI. Ito ay pinasinayanan ni Pangulong BBM ngayong Enero 23 ka 2024. Halina at ating alamin at kilalangin ang mga pamunuan sa pagtataguyod ng lung transplant program. Further much ado, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present to you the President of the Philippines, the His Excellency, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. Salamat, uh, uh, Dr. Rose. Uh, Dr. Dr. Rose Marie Rosette uh, Lichete, who is not only the uh, executive director of the uh, NKT Institute, but apparently is a former playmate of mine in uh, in San Juan. That, that, that's uh, that. I, I didn't I didn't know that, and you weren't telling me until you got up on the uh, got up on the stage, but. That is a that, that, that is a remarkable coincidence, and uh, in the, uh, how we have found ourselves here today, in the same place, doing the same things that uh, my parents did, uh, and uh, furthering the services of uh, our medical uh, our, our medical healthcare professionals. Uh, Doctor Vincent Balana, the executive director of the Lung Center of the Philippines. Dr. Edmund Villaruman, Chairperson LCP and KTI Lung Transplant Program. Uh, Senator Sunny Angara, to a parent who we owe very much to. He has done some very good work in uh, supporting uh, the establishment of uh, this uh, Lung Transplant uh, Institute and Center. And uh, we uh, the, the Dr. Balana already has many plans for the future. We will be coming to you again uh, so that we can complete we can complete the rebuilding. Uh, I, I was a little sad to hear that uh, the, the, the damage that was caused by the fire of 98 has not yet been completely uh, re rehabilitated. And I think that's the first thing that we have to, uh, to look to. Um, and It would. It it, it it seems like a, it has been a too long a delay uh, to wait since 1998 to bring us back to the standards or at least the capacity uh, that we had in 1998 to now, which is already 2024. So uh, we are playing catch up, but uh, we will do all that we can. Uh, Congress Congressman uh, Gato Jr., the of course our the, our host uh, in the city of Quezon City is the Honorable Joy Belmonte, my fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today we celebrate the collaboration of two hospitals, which more than neighbors are partners in battling diseases that inflict pain on our people and on their pockets as well. They also share one significant trait, and that is courage in full display when COVID-19 was on a rampage. The trenches where frontliners in white coats made their defiant stand run through these two hospitals. You saved many, many, many lives. If there is one postcard of grit which captured your stubborn resistance, it was that of the lung center personnel fashioning PPEs out of garbage bags in the very beginning when we could not get enough of these PPEs, when the influx of patients overran all our supplies as we were unprepared for such a plague that uh, to befall our country. 
And when I saw that picture, captioned with a call, Laban lang, ito yata ang fighting slogan nyo, Laban lang. I found myself catching my breath, what breath I could catch because I was suffering from COVID myself and uh, was still uh, uh, trying to recover. It was unfortunate because it's the first time in my life that I go to the doctor and I ask them what's happening to me and the doctors would tell me we are not quite sure. And uh, the next question of course is how do I get better? And the answer also is well we'll try everything but we're not quite sure yet. Of course we have grown, it has improved uh, greatly since then and uh, that is something then that that is why uh, the the lung center uh, having been a long time asthma and allergy sufferer has been something that uh, i can understand and sympathize with uh, very very closely nice nami ipaabot ang aming tauspusong pasasalamat dahil sa inyong katapangan your gallant acts do not fade with time then gratitude has no expiry date either. In LCP and NKTI, these words ring true. Never was so much owed by so many to so few. While the pandemic is over, the diseases which prompted the establishment of the LCP still remain and in increasing numbers. It is evident in the country's top 10 tally of morbidity or leading causes of sickness or in pulmonary related ailments occupied numbers 1, 5, 7, and 9 in 2022. As to leading causes of death, pulmonary-related diseases took up the 6th, 7th, and 10th slot in the same year. These are more than numbers because behind them is an immeasurable amount of people whose lives have been degraded, whose dreams have been shattered by disease that bankrupt a family as well as a patient. The partnership between LCP and NKTI can be a template in which hospitals pool their resources and share assets to boost patient care and improve bottom lines. The launch of the LCP and NKTI lung transplant program is an application of the proven maxim that two heads, two hospitals, are better than one. This creates the infrastructure for lung transplants in the country, with the first one to be done within 2024. I wish you Godspeed in this endeavor. I know you will succeed because you are torchbearers of the tradition of bold and brave initiatives upon which medicine has advanced and diseases have retreated. It is the same grand vision which prompted the establishment of the LCP and the NKTI and the Heart Center during an era when great things were not only dreamed of but developed. Build Better More is the same, is of the same ethos, which should animate us today to march forward instead of just running in place. We will not, we not, we should stop being content with the piecemeal or belittle big dream as too ambitious, too difficult, but instead embrace the audacious if we want to leave a better world that we found, then we found it. We will begin by learning from the rich trove of lessons that the pandemic has left us. Through the Doctors to the Barrios program, we are training doctors because their development is critical to the realization of universal health care. Through the Regional Specialty Centers Act, we have established 131 functional specialty centers nationwide, nine of which are designated as lung specialty centers to bring lung care closer to our people. By 2028, we aim to establish an additional 179 specialty centers, seven of which are dedicated as lung care centers. Through an expanded nursing education program that CHED and DOH is implementing, we are addressing the current shortage of this essential health workforce while ensuring their future supply. All of these support what the LCP and KTI lung transplant program seeks to achieve to provide competent, committed, and compassionate care to our people. So in closing, let us remember that health care is our covenant with the people, a public commitment driven by neither political agenda nor personal, personal legacy projects. In this hospital where heroes walk and work, may this program be a testament to our unwavering duty to serve 
the Filipinos. I cannot forget my father's uh, advice to me. And he said, the first service that government must provide to its people is health care. And uh, because no matter how successful a society is, no matter how wealthy a person is, that wealth and that success they cannot enjoy if they're not enjoying a good health. Again, congratulations to the LCP and NKTI. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong serbisyo. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong sakripisyo at ang patuloy ninyong trabaho para alagaan ang taong bayan ng Pilipinas. Thank you and good morning. Thank you, Mr. President.